The city's riverside facelift continues with a barren section of East Perth set to become a major attraction. Point Fraser has been three decades in the making, as Alice Pooley reports. It's taken three decades of negotiations, but finally Point Fraser is getting a major multi-million dollar makeover. The precinct will host a function centre along with fine dining restaurants, a wine bar, cafes and a late night Sky Garden supper club. Entertainment for an expanding city. This is, you know, driven by the growth forecasts that we know are real. We're forecasting 3.5 million by 2050. People are crying out for these amenities. They enjoy them in overseas locations. They want to be able to enjoy them on their own home shores. A boardwalk will wrap around the development, complete with a beach area and boat moorings. We have big boat ownership and uh, yet we don't have enough locations where people can come out in their boat and moor up, enjoy a meal. Red tape, council changes and withheld environmental approvals prevented the precinct from being built last century. It was in the uh, late 70s, early 80s that we decided to do a project. It's part of a series of major projects said to change the face of our city. Works are underway on Elizabeth Quay and there are plans for a footbridge from Point Fraser to Harrison Island. Perth City Council has put up $5 million to fund it, but it needs another $15 million. Construction on Point Fraser will begin next week. We will be completing the project in a very fast manner because it's not a complicated building, so we hope to be finished hopefully at the end of next year. Alice Pooley, 10 News.